Hey there crew, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet and today I'm starting a brand new series where I'll be answering your bullet journal stationery and other questions in this quick Q&A session. So if you have questions that you would like to ask about any of those topics, you can head over to menwhobullet.com slash questions and there you'll be able to add a question and have it answered on a YouTube video or possibly on my other social media channels as well. So let's go ahead and get started with today's question. This one comes from Joy Letters Bujo, and the question is, you've been journaling and planning for a long time. Can you remember any key shifts in the way that you plan or bullet journal? What changed and when? So this is a fantastic question, and I can actually think about two specific times that my planning or bullet journal style has changed, and I know exactly why. So the very first change that I saw was actually between my first bullet journal and my third bullet journal. And the second one's kind of included in that second and third. And the reason I say that is that when I first got started with bullet journaling six years ago, I was going off of what I learned from bulletjournal.com and what I was seeing online. So I thought that I had to design or create a bullet journal a certain way, and I was highly influenced by what I was seeing online while still trying to do it myself, but that took time to learn. I was using spreads or creating them based off of influences, and then I was like, this doesn't work for me. I don't like the way that that looks, but sometimes I was trying things and I really liked them. But between my first and that third one, by the time I got to my third journal, I felt much more comfortable in what I was doing. I was fully embodying the method. I knew exactly what I needed from it and how to get it, and I was also starting to create things on my own and just really use my bullet journal more effectively. It's not always about creating. If you're not a creative bullet journaler, it's just feeling really comfortable and confident in how you're working inside of your bullet journal. The other shift that I had happened about two years ago, and I'm still actually working through this now, and that shift actually had to do with work, where I went from an individual contributor as a designer and moved into design leadership and now design operations and using my bullet journal to help me with work really all together. I've always used my bullet journal for work, but this really was a big change for me because I went from having personal individualized tasks and maybe having a handful a week as I work through projects, now on a much larger scale where I'm working with programs and bigger projects and full teams, it's not just on me now. So I have things I need to do for other individuals. I'm working on organizing meetings and workshops and things like that, and just doing things a lot differently than I used to. And so I've seen a big shift in how I work. Even this year, coupling my bullet journal along with a task planner and having those two things try to work together, I'm trying to find a way to kind of synergize and bring that all together, but it's been a big shift in how I work and I'm still figuring it out. But honestly, it's what I love about the bullet journal method is that it is flexible. As my life changes, as my job changes, it can flex with me. But those have been two of the most kind of influential or times where it's really made a shift, but I know exactly why it is and I've reflected on it a lot and I'm excited to continue through and go through that. So thank you very much for that question. If you have a question for yourself, whether it's about bullet journaling, stationery, or anything in between, you can head over to menwhobullet.com slash questions and ask your question there. I'll be answering it here on these videos and also across my other social media platforms. I'll talk with you next time. See ya.